Hi, I'm Mike New. I was born and live in Australia, in the northern rivers of New South Wales, where it's been quite affected by the the recent bushfires that are at their peak, as I as I record this. I've deeply felt the impact of these fires in Australia. I felt a deep sadness at the loss of life, at the loss of the ecosystems and the and the plants and the animals. Um, and I feel a great anger because I feel like they could have been prevented and that we as a society are not are not properly looking after after our environment as we should be. You know, it's time. It's, fine. it's time for the people that care about each other, that care about nature, that care about the future generations to, to stand up, uh, to take action, to you know, really find compassionate, heartfelt, firm action, inspired action uh, to look after ourselves and, and, and future generations. And by ourselves, I mean you know, all beings on this earth. Our, our plant and animal brothers and sisters included. You know, it's time to say to those, it's time, well actually not just say, it's time to hold those accountable who damage our earth either through direct action or indirect action or, or through non-action and neglect. So I'd like to share in the rest of this video a, a healing meditation that I invite you to, to participate in. It's been inspired by the Australian bushfires, but really by the, the overall environmental situation on the planet. You know, we'll, I'll ask for the healing of the bushfires, for the, for the sacred waters to rain and to put, to put an end to these fires, for man and nature man as part of nature and all of nature to come into balance and harmony together um, and that we may create compassionate action across the whole planet. So if you'd like to participate you know, in this healing prayer, I really invite you to, invite you to, you know, please find yourself a comfortable place, you know, somewhere where you're not going to get interrupted. Um, Sit down, lie down, make yourself comfortable and relax your body and close your eyes. So maybe pause this until, until you've done that. Okay, so let's, let's start. Let's start by grounding yourself bringing yourself fully into the present, into the here and now, into your body. Allow your mind to settle and go quiet. And simply watch any thoughts that may pop up. Let them pass without engaging in them. Invite your heart to open, to fill with kind, compassionate, caring love fill with healing energy. Allow your body and being to ground fully into Mother Earth. You could imagine roots coming out of, out of your sacral and out of your feet growing deep down into Mother Earth, into the center of the earth. Feel the sensations of your body resting against whatever its surface you're resting against, being supported. Feel yourself supported by Mother Earth, knowing that we come from the Mother Earth 
and eventually we shall return to her. So let's pay our respects and gratitude to the land that you're currently on and to our ancestors. Whatever land you are on, in whatever country, wherever you are on this beautiful planet, breathe out and down through your feet and into the center of the earth. And when you do, when you breathe in, breathe that earth energy back in, up through your body, into your being. As you take these breaths, feel the connection that you have with this land, with your ancestors and their ancient wisdom and love of this earth. And thank them. Thank our ancestors and this land for supporting us. Now, bring your attention to the east coast of Australia, the land of the koala, of the kookaburra, the kangaroo, wallabies and goannas, of beautiful mountains, forests, rivers, creeks and beaches. Ancient landscapes and ecosystems that have flourished for millions of years and have been cared for by the traditional custodians, the original inhabitants of Australia for over 40,000 years. Please pay your respects to these custodians, to the traditional custodians of the land, their elders, and their generations that are yet to come. May we all thrive and flourish together into the future. Now let us pray for all those who have been affected by the fires, the forests, the ecosystems that have been lost, the animals and people who have all been impacted. Let's wish them healing and love and peace. Let's imagine gentle, consistent rain in the right balance falling from the sky across all these fires, soaking into the land, completely extinguishing these fires. Imagine with all your senses, you know, your sight, your smell, your touch, your taste, your feelings, your hearing. Imagine the people celebrating, you know, the people that are there on the ground celebrating, the relief it is for the rest of the people on the planet. And also notice that, uh, that the plants and the animals in that area are grateful <laughs> and joyous as well. Hmm. And imagine the forests of the east coast of Australia, east and south coasts of Australia, parts of Tasmania, the flora and the fauna, from the largest animal to the smallest microbe in mycelia, regenerating, growing, growing vibrant and healthy 
and all thriving and flourishing together. The verdant virgin ecosystem regenerated. Our beautiful life-giving forests, the meadows, the mountains, the beaches, the wetlands, the rivers, regenerated and healthy. Imagine the rivers and the creeks flowing with clean, fresh water, full of life, full of fish and yabbies and goodness knows what else lives in these things. <laughs> and imagine the people caring for and living in harmony with, with this surrounding environment. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Feels good. And let's remember that fire, the element of fire is essential for our existence. Let's imagine the fire element being balanced with the other elements of earth, wind, water and spirit. Feel the potency and love of that balance. Give gratitude for the fire element and, and all the other elements. I ask that all those that are willing, both individually and collectively, together we become stewards and caretakers of our lands and our peoples, of each other. May we know how to care for and act wisely and kindly with each other. May we know how to use fire and all the other elements with great wisdom. How to live in regenerative ways that not only looks after ourselves as humans, but also our animal and plant and mineral brothers and sisters with great care and kindness. Also, May we live in a way that looks after the future generations of all beings. This earth is not ours and there are people who will come in the future to rely on it. You know, I ask that this event, these bushfires in Australia and other similar world events that we're experiencing all around the world reverberate all around the world and bring awareness and opening of hearts to the people that are willing to listen. Helping us to remember and embrace our sacred responsibilities to one another and all beings and to the preciousness of life. May these new awarenesses create wise, compassionate, inspired, heart-centered action. Actions that address the environmental and societal crisis we find ourselves in. And that bring about a, beautif a beauty filled society that thrives as part of nature in harmony with nature, with each other and all beings. If you would like, feel yourself opening to peace and to wise, compassionate guidance and knowing. Knowing how to navigate through life in this time of great transition that we're facing on this planet.
And I feel great gratitude for all those people that are caring and taking action to bring about the new, kinder, caring society that we all need. Mm, thank you. So I'd like you now to come back into your body, into the here and now, fully conscious, fully present. Maybe wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, move your head side to side, start wiggling your legs and your arms. Oh, know that you've truly helped heal the planet and bring an end to these fires. And so it is. Yahoo. Yahweh. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, open your eyes. Congratulate yourself, really, really give yourself a big pat on the back, you know, carry, carry a sense of achievement and, and gratitude and be proud of yourself you know, carry this sense and this knowing through the day, um, you know, for you really have made a big contribution, perhaps bigger than we'll ever know, to ending these fires and planetary healing. I really appreciate it. You know, the modern day heroes for me are, are the farmers, are the land regenerators, the people that care, the society builders, the community builders. So thank you for taking this time. And have a great day.